This is the personal chef Renee coming to you with another quick meal. And today we're going to be doing Italian sausage by Johnsonville. I have five sausages cut up. I have two large potatoes cut up. I have one large purple onion cut up. I have three cloves of garlic and the eggs go last. The seasonings I'm going to be using for this quick meal. I can't even pronounce it. So Sonador, total seasoning, the perfect seasoning, garlic, and Italian seasoning. I love Italian seasoning. I have my frying pans ready to go. I'm using two. You can do this meal in one frying pan, but if you want it to go quicker, I would suggest that you use two so everything could be going on at the same time simultaneously. Okay, so in the large pan, I'm going to drop the potatoes. Ooh, I had to back up from that one. <laughs> okay, we got potatoes going. And so what I'm gonna do is just put a lid on top. I put a little bit of oil, and what I used was vegetable oil, just regular old vegetable oil. And also, prior to that, I sprayed the pan with pan. Now in the second pan over here, I'm going to put the sausage. And I have my heat set for medium. Okay, let's put the sausage in. And I have this on medium low. I don't want it to cook too fast. But I want these potatoes to get going. And we're not gonna add the onions until the potatoes are halfway done. And we're not gonna add the garlic until like maybe the last five minutes of cooking for the garlic. We're gonna turn these potatoes up just a little bit. But I want them to get brown on all sides. And we'll be back. These Italian sausages are cooking up really nice. them turned over. Now they come in casings and if you don't care for the casings, just remove the casing. Me, I like the casing so I just keep them on. Okay, let's check the potatoes. Okay, they're coming along. Remember, we want to get these nice and brown as best we can. These are considered, when they're cut like this, they're considered um, country style potatoes because you got them cut in chunks. And remember, when you're cooking, prep, prep, prep. Prep is key to a quick meal, getting it in and out. And we've been cooking for Hmm. I'm going to say seven minutes now. Yeah, everything's been going along for seven minutes. And I have another pot going over here. But I'm going to make a video on this at another time. But I'm getting ready to make some homemade soup. So we got this pot going in the middle for the soup. And it's going to be a, um, a broccoli vegetable soup. And it's going to be great. So I'll be back. Now you see all of the grease that's coming off of this pork, off of these Italian hot sausages. These are pork sausage. You can get, I think, Italian turkey sausage, which are really good too. But I just happen to pick up the pork. Anyway, I don't like to mix, like with the potatoes and these sausage. The potatoes will pick up a lot of this grease and we're gonna omit all of this grease. 
that's in here. All we want is the flavor of the sausages. And let's check the potatoes one more time. They're coming along. Almost ready for the um, onions. I'm gonna say about five more minutes. We'll be ready for the onions to go in. Still not quite yet. And I just added some more vegetables for the vegetable soup. And what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna keep, um, I wanna saute the vegetables before I add the water and the broccoli. Just keep these vegetables right here good and sauteed. It's time for the onions to go in, so I'm just gonna drop those in. We are at the half minute mark. The half minute mark. <laughs> we are at the halfway mark, okay? 30 minutes, it shouldn't take but about 30 minutes. If it goes over a little bit, that's okay, but 30 minutes. So now we're gonna give this a stir. And this is really cooking 101 for those of you not used to being in the kitchen and you're just trying to, you know, figure it out, figure out some meals. And, and if you don't like meat and you like tofu, you can always, like I did with the meat, you can always do it with the tofu. And it's gonna be just as good. So, I'm gonna let this cook a little bit. I got the sausage out of the pan and they came out beautiful. This is exactly how I like my sausage and all that grease I was referring to. See all this? We don't want all that. Thank you. We don't need that in our um, arteries. So I'm gonna get this pan off of here and get it cleaned up. And I'm gonna move my soup pan to this section. And my soup is still in the souping stage. I haven't added any water yet. I'm still, um, it's still salty. Lay it back on this, and we'll be right back. Okay, now I would say that these potatoes are ready. So I'm gonna add the garlic. And I'm gonna add some seasoning. Use the type of seasoning that you like just don't overdo it with the sodium. This is garlic I'm adding right now. And now we're gonna put some Italian seasoning in here. Just gave that a quick stir. Now I'm gonna add the sausage. Because remember, the sausage has lots and lots of flavor. That's why I said don't overdo it with the sodium. of butter right here. That's just for more flavoring. And when I come back, this meal will be complete. And we have five minutes left to go. And that the 30 minutes total time was from prepping to cooking to getting it on the table. Now that looks good. Remember, to adjust your seasoning. Now, let's get this plated up, and I'm gonna plate it up with a fried egg. The food is now plated. So you have your sausage and potatoes right here. You have your green salad, and you have a fried egg. And I wanna thank everybody for stopping by, watching me make this 30 minutes or less meal. So. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so at this time. Hit that subscription button, notification bell, comment, like, 
share this video out with others and remember always cook with love because people can tell when you're just cooking or when you're cooking with love and i will see you on the next video and remember this is italian sausage purple purple onions and potatoes with a little salad and a fried egg thank you everybody just a quick get something on the table see you on the next video thank you